Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Ali with Caesar North America. And I'm Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs. And we're gonna show you three ways to etch. With Caesar And Swift Creek Customs. Let's get started. Alrighty, so we have three ways to etch here. Why don't we go ahead and explain to everybody what we're gonna be using today. Okay, so we are gonna start with some Caesar um, Starling Easy PSV that we're gonna use as our stencil. And we are going to start with citrus strip etching that is on a powder coated tumbler. Very important to information to know, right? Powder coated works the best when yes. we come to the citrus strip method. Even though it is a paint stripper, mm -hmm. when you're using it on a painted tumbler, I have not had good results with it. So sure. you need to test your tumblers. That's the biggest thing. Gotcha. And then we are going to be doing glass etching <laughs> with the same technique. <laughs> And go. then we have a special surprise with some 24 inch Easy PSV etched vinyl. Yes, so we have a little gift that we're gonna be giving somebody in the office, but let's get it cut out. And because Ellie is the queen of the Romeo, uh, we're going to be using the Romeo in this one today too. So very, very excited. I think we just hop in and we start crafting and have some fun. Awesome. All right, let's clear let's this go. table off. Cool. Hey. Let me ask you this because this is a debate in my household. Are you a regular paintbrush person or are you a foam brush person when you do any of these types of projects? I am actually a high tech popsicle Ooh. stick craft stick user. Okay, well. So, but any of these will work no perfect. matter what you have. Perfect. And because we're using citrus strip, which is technically a chemical, well, it's not yes. technically, it is a chemical, we also have some gloves here as well to help us out with the process. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sneak upstairs, get Yohan out of his office for a little while so that we can do something fun for him. And Ellie's actually going to go over how to apply your uh, PSV, some tips and tricks along the way. So, Without further ado, you ready to show them? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. Let me get you on out really quick. Okay, so once we have all of our supplies gathered together, you want to um, protect your workspace. You also want to do this in a well-ventilated area. And then you are simply going to cut out your stencil on the adhesive vinyl. And we are going to take that and I'm just going to cut it down. So I'm just going to take my stencil and you want to weed out the outside edge of your stencil and the inside of the design. And then you are going to take your piece of transfer tape and I'm just gonna cut a piece down to that size. And I'm going to just carefully apply that transfer tape on top and then take your squeegee and you can just burnish it down a little bit. Flip that over and we're gonna burnish a little bit more. And then you just carefully peel the backing at a sharp angle from your vinyl. And then you have your stencil. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to take my spatula here and your blank you want to clean with alcohol prior to. We've already cleaned these. So I'm just going to lay this down here on the spatula that holds it in place. And I like to apply my decal starting in the center, and then I'm just gonna smooth it down starting from the center and push that out. And you wanna try and get it as smooth as possible without any bubbles, because the etching is permanent. And if you do not have a good seal, it can seep underneath it. And then carefully peel that transfer tape off. And then I actually reuse my transfer tape. So I'm just gonna take it and put the backing back on it and set that aside. And we wanna take our painter's tape here and you wanna protect the outer areas of your powder coated tumbler or your glass. Anywhere that citrus strip or the glass etch touches, it could etch on. Even if it just touches for a brief second, that's usually when it etches the most in the place that you do not want it to etch. Most times I will actually just cover the whole tumbler. And we're gonna go ahead and take our citrus strip and a little cup and kind of make sure it's ready to go. So it is a chemical. So I use the gloves just because I'm really messy usually. I use the gloves to protect not only myself but also my surfaces. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, pour it in here and grab a little bit thicker brush. And you really just need to test it yourself to see what's gonna work for your powder coated tumbler. You probably don't need this much, even that I poured. You wanna cover it as liberally as possible, but you do not want it running down the sides. And you want to leave this on for 90 minutes. 
I would not recommend letting it go longer. I have seen it eat completely through the painter's tape and the um, rest of the tumbler. So just keep that in mind. Close up your citrus strip so you don't spill it. And then we're on to the next glass etching. We're gonna use this Armor Etch, or you can also use Etch All Etching Cream as well. And then once you have that secure, the etching cream is probably even more finicky. If you get that anywhere on your glass, even just a drop, it's gonna etch in just a second. And then you can follow the directions for the bottle that you're using. Typically for both Etch All and the Armor Etch, I use 20 minutes for either one. Even though I think the bottle here says five, it says one to three minutes. I, I don't trust that. So it's not gonna hurt it if it's on there longer. And then you're just gonna put that on there very liberally, but not enough to run. And then make sure you put this in a safe place. I'm just gonna set this right here and then you can clean up your workspace and cover your etch. And then all we have to do is wait. So we have the 90 minutes on the citrus strip etching cream and we have the 20 minutes or so on the etching cream. And we'll come back and show you how to take it off. All right, and we're back. Yeah, it turned um, out really, really good. Yeah, those ones lot. really did. We didn't have any bleed. The um, PSV worked great. In some cases, it's the dishwasher safe mm -hmm. PSV. Yes, yeah, it is. So um, in some cases, it took me a little bit of effort to get that PSV to come off, yeah. even after it had only been on there for a short time. Well, and for the good people, too, that are watching the video and trying to learn something, you did yell at me because I did say we should try to just put them in the dishwasher because the PSV yeah. will last. But it is just <laughs> to make sure we are working with chemicals, guys, in, in most cases with some of this stuff. So we don't want to make sure, or we want to make sure that we're washing and cleaning things in a safe environment, make sure it's in a utility sink, not your main sinks and stuff you use, um, just to make sure that we're not damaging any pipes or anything. We don't yes. want people calling us, yelling at us. Yeah. Yes, so <laughs> I, I was very careful. I wipe any excess off before mm -hmm. I even rinse it with water, and then I use a lot of water. Yeah. Run a lot of water and run a lot of water while you're doing taking it off as well. Absolutely. And I use gloves the entire time because that etching cream will, you can't see it, but you, it'll still be on there once that stencil's off a little mm -hmm. bit. You got to wash the whole. And it, glass and it is what end. it is. It's basically acid. It that's is helping acid. To eat away some it's of not that, basically. It's, it's acid. acid. <laughs> it's acid. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, we got to show this part too. It I wanna doesn't show. always work exactly perfect the first time. So this one here turned out great and was easy to peel off. This one is not. I left it as it is. I worked for quite a while to try to get that off. I can get it off. I'm mm -hmm. confident I can get it off, but we wanted to show it as an example too. Yep. So I'm going to take that one home with me. I'm going to um, work on that one just to get a little bit something else to help scrub that off. Awesome. So it will work and I'll show a photo of that um, in the in my group as well. But we wanted to share how it doesn't always work out 100% perfect and sometimes mm -hmm. it just takes a little bit more time. Love it, love yep. it. All right, well, yep. let's get into this next method and we'll show you, I wanna show really quick on how to set this up in Leonardo. We've obviously set up a design. We're gonna bring it into Leonardo. We're gonna show the folks how to actually set a custom size based on what we're trying to build. And then we have a really cool application portion that we're gonna show yeah. you. So I'm excited. This yeah. is your first like large application, right? Or I've no? done a window on a, a back of a truck before, oh, beautiful. but okay. it's not as wide and okay. as, Yeah, you know. so a couple of things that we're gonna show, the Easy PSV etched. Uh, we're also going to show you the hinge method when we are applying to a large surface or a large wall. So without further ado, let's get into that portion of it. Alrighty, so for the Romeo and what we're gonna use, because obviously we're using a little bit larger than our standard vinyl, yep. um, there's a couple of things that we need to make sure that we tell the good people at home to look out for. We have multiple pinch rollers on the Romeo themselves. We want multiple points of contact when we are using larger pieces of material. So for example, we're gonna be using the 24 inch Easy PSV Etch for this project. So I wanna make sure that my uh, pinch wheels or my pinch rollers are evenly spaced out across the material, making sure that I'm making contact with both ends as well as a couple points in the middle. Now on the Romeo itself, there is a specific uh, milled out grid on the bottom roller. We just have to make sure that those pinch wheels line up with that grid rail. Right. That's always a, a big piece of education. And today we're gonna be using the Romeo roll holder, Love which it. is in finally. So I'm just gonna place it right behind uh, in no particular order. I usually like to keep the roll holder 
roughly about six to eight inches away from the back of the Romeo. I'm gonna set my material on top of it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, what I like to do actually is a quick lineup trick, just so you ever, if you ever need this, using actually this uh, rocker arm for the pinch wheels, I'll kind of line my material up with that. So I'll put it in first and then get it fed through the front. And then I'll actually push my material up against that. Ooh. And then sometimes once I get that and I'm not getting a lot of folding back here, right. I can snap it into place and this will typically track my material. Nice, properly. that's a great tip. Yeah, and then another, uh, another quick tip when we're working with any larger pieces of material, some are heavier than others. So it mm -hmm. does affect your cutting uh, when you are cutting longer pieces. So I like to actually spool out just a little bit on the backside and give myself some relief so that when we do roll the material out of the cutter, uh, we're not going to be pulling too much on the actual unit itself. So right. we'll roll out a little bit of material. Let's hop into Leonardo Design Studio to set up our cut. And then uh, I think we go upstairs and we yeah. get this applied to a door. So yeah. uh, let's hop into Leonardo and uh, we'll go over the next steps. So when we open up Leonardo Design Studio for the first time, you'll always be presented with a 12 by 12 cutting mat. Because our design this time is actually going to be larger than the standard 12 by 12 cutting mat, we're actually gonna go ahead and transfer from a cutting mat to a material roll, which is in the artboard and cutting mat setup menu. Uh, and we're going to change the size of the media width to 24 inches, uh, because that is what the Romeo can, the max cutting width of the Romeo. With that said, you have to have a registered Romeo in Leonardo Design Studio to be able to go past that 13 and a half inches that you can with the Juliet high definition cutter. So we've changed your media width to 24 inches. We're gonna go ahead and change the width or the length to about 80 inches uh, long. The design isn't necessarily a full 80 inches, but it's gonna give us a little bit of wiggle room on our design menu. So from this menu, we're gonna go ahead and hit file and then import file, or we can hit the control I We'll find our design that we want, our SVG, hit open, and now we have a couple of options we can choose from. Because this won't be a print then cut, we're actually gonna use this as a cuttable piece of artwork uh, on the Romeo. We can select either cut only or editable artwork. So once we hit apply, it's going to bring my design to my main page. From this menu, or from this uh, setup, it's really simple of hitting the O, which will then bring your image into the origin. So for the Romeo and the Juliet is the bottom left uh, is where the blade actually starts cutting. And then we can go ahead and hit send design on this image. We're going to hit the selected artwork only, move each layer to the origin. So it'll make sure all of our layers that we're cutting are reducing the amount of waste that we have in our material, hit send. And then from here, now we can go ahead and uh, send our design on over to a Romeo to get cutting. Now we've showed you three different ways that you can etch with glass etching, with a citrus strip paint stripper, and with a 24 inch Caesar etch PSV vinyl on the 24 inch Romeo machine. Absolutely, and if you're looking for any other educational content or you wanna just simply learn the Romeo or learn some really cool methods for creating, make sure that you head over to YouTube, follow Swift Creek Customs, Make sure you hit the subscribe button, slap that bell for notifications. And if you are already subscribed to Caesar North America, we absolutely love to have you. And until next time, yeah. we'll have to do this again. This yes. is fun. Yes. All right, everybody, stay creative, stay crafty, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye.